Pakistan is likely to remain focused on developing and improving short-range ballistic missiles and cruise missiles. For the past several years, Pakistan has been testing several types of cruise missiles, including the Babur, which has a range of 700 kilometers with a 300 kilogram payload. Pakistan also has been focusing more attention on its short-range, nuclear-capable ballistic missiles, including the Nasser. But today, in Pakistan's missile series, we are going to see all short-range ballistic missiles of Pakistan, but before going into the details, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon for the latest defense informative videos. On number 5, we have, Ghaznavi. The Ghaznavi Hadif 3 is a hypersonic surface-to-surface -surface short range ballistic missile designed and developed by the National Development Complex, with the first version in service with the Pakistan Army's Strategic Command since 2004. With an optimal range of 290 km, it is named after the 11th century Muslim Turkic conqueror Mahmud Ghazni. It entered service with the Pakistan Army in 2012 after a successful launch conducted by ASFC. Army Strategic Command Force, on May 10, 2012. The Hadif-3 is a Scud-type ballistic missile. The missile could carry nuclear and conventional warheads to a range of 290 to 320 kilometers. It was the second nuclear-capable missile test-fired by the Pakistan Army in less than two weeks, since India's launch of Agni-5. The missile has a length of 9.64 m, a diameter of 0.99 m, a launch weight of 5,256 kg, and is powered by a single-stage solid-fuel rocket motor. The Pakistan military officials consistently maintained that the Ghaznavi program is locally designed and indigenously built. In 1995, its engine was successfully tested and was said to be a major breakthrough in missile development in Pakistan. On number 4, we have, Dong Phone 11 or M11. The Dong Phone 11 or M11, is a short-range ballistic missile developed by the People's Republic of China. It was the PRC's first conventionally armed SRBM, and its export version, the M11, is thought to be the basis for Pakistan's Ghaznavi missiles, and among others. The DF-11 is a road mobile short-range ballistic missile, which began development in 1984 as the M11, which was led by the China Sanjiang Space Group previously known as Base 066. The DF-11 is 7.5 m long, 0.8 m in diameter, and weighs roughly 3,800 kg at launch. It can deliver a payload of 800 kg over a maximum distance of 350 km. The missile uses an inertial guidance system to achieve estimated accuracies of 600 m circular error probably. The DF-11 was initially developed with a conventional high-explosive warhead for export. An improved DF-11A version has an increased range of 825 km. The range of the M11 does not violate the limits set by the missile technology control regime. Unlike previous Chinese ballistic missiles, the DF-11 uses solid fuel, which greatly reduces launch preparation time from 15 to 30 minutes. On number 3, we have, Shaheen. The Shaheen 1 had a 4, is a Pakistani land-based supersonic and short-to-medium-range surface-to-surface guided ballistic missile, jointly designed and developed by the joint venture of NESCOM and the National Defense Complex NDC. Pakistan began developing the Shaheen-1 in 1993 and first displayed the missile in March 1999. The system's first publicly acknowledged flight test took place in April 1999 though testing may have begun as early as July 1997. The Shaheen-1 is roughly 12 m long, 1 m in diameter, and weighs 9,500 kg at launch. It can range 750 km while carrying a single high-explosive, chemical, or 35 kT nuclear warhead payload weighing up to 1,000 kg. It employs a single-stage, solid-propellant engine and features an estimated accuracy of 200 mcep. It is guided by an inertial navigation system and employs a post-separation attitude correction system to increase its accuracy and potentially complicate interception. The missile entered service with Pakistan Army Strategic Force Command in March 2003. 
On number 2 we have, Shaheen-1. Shaheen-1 is a short-range ballistic missile, with an optimal range of 900 kilometers, and propelled by a two-stage solid-fuel rocket motor. The Shaheen-1 can deliver either a conventional or a nuclear payload much faster than liquid-fueled missiles such as the Gari missile, because it does not need to be fueled before launch, reducing deployment time significantly. The missile weight is approximately 9,500 kilograms. The Shaheen-1 is believed to be very accurate, Pakistani military sources state a CEP of 25 to 50 M can be achieved, partly due to a post-separation attitude correction system. This system would allow the missile to modify its trajectory, improving accuracy, and, along with the stealthy warhead shaping, giving some capability to evade missile defense systems. It is based on terminal guidance system technology, which improves warhead accuracy by firing small thrusters to adjust the warhead's trajectory, and uses satellite navigation systems to help find the target. Such systems would allow the Shaheen to be used against strategic targets without requiring a nuclear warhead to ensure the target's destruction. On number 1, we have, Shaheen 1A. On April 25, 2012, Pakistan successfully test-launched an upgraded Shaheen 1, called Shaheen 1A. The military said in a statement that the Shaheen 1A is a medium-range ballistic missile. It is an improved version of the Shaheen 1, with better accuracy and doubles the range of its predecessor. The missile weight is approximately 10,000 kilograms, slightly heavier than its predecessor, and can carry a single 1,000 kilograms warhead, at the range of 1,000 kilometers. In addition, the Shaheen 1A primarily contains sophisticated automated refueling and advanced stealth technology features that were not present in its previous version to avoid detections from radars. All three Shaheen missiles, Shaheen 1, Shaheen 1A, and Shaheen 2, are reportedly equipped with the latest post-separation altitude correction system. This is a unique feature, which consists of small thrusters that can adjust the warhead trajectory for greater accuracy and evade anti-ballistic missile defense systems. The features of the missile could also serve as a testbed of features, which could be implemented on the yet-to-be-deployed Shaheen-3, Shaheen-1A, with a range of 900 kilometers, was test-fired on November 17, 2014.